So this video is going to be focused on fixing these blobs and zits, specifically on cylindrical or curved surfaces of your 3D printer, um, specifically for Octoprint and with Marlin based printers. Mine is a CR10S, but I think the same would apply to any printer that you're having this issue with that is running Marlin and Octoprint. Uh, I think if you're running other software, maybe some of them won't apply, but I think the Cura setting changes at the end here, here will. Oh, well, one more thing is this is focused on Cura. I think some of the other th slicers don't have as much issue with it because of how they're doing the G code around the curved surfaces. In Cura's case, there's a lot of really small travel movements to get a smooth curve. The negative is you have a lot of really small travel movements and that is a, a problem that creates these, these uh, zits and blobs. So let's take a look at the TH3D Marlin settings first. So, so when you first open up your Arduino IDE, you'll get this, this screen. Let me see if I can, yeah, I'll move this down. So it'll open up here. Um, this is a recent build. It's not the, the latest, but um, typically you'll go in this configuration H dot H and you'll make changes in here. Now to fix, to improve your, uh, this, we need to make some changes in a few other files. So in this case, it's the configuration advanced H go in there and then do a find and then search for buffer. So I've already made the changes here, but you'll see, uh, the block buffer size up to 32. Max command size, I think, is still 96, which is the same. And then I've changed this buff size to 20 and TX buff size to zero. So this helps increase the buffer size on your 3D printer, which helps it queue up commands so that you uh, uh, don't have as many, you're not waiting for Octoprint to feed it commands as much, which helps a lot. The next thing we do is we want to change the baud rate. So in this case, you'll go to configuration TH3D and we'll make a modification of the baud rate to 25,000. So this increase, increases the throughput of the USB since it's based on, uh, based on the baud rate now. You need to make sure your printer supports both the buffer size changes and the baud rate. I've tested this on the CR10S, it works. I've heard that the same features work on the, the Ender 3, but the CR10, it may or may not work. Also, if you have a 32-bit uh, printer controller, you probably won't have these issues. These things will probably be set high enough. So those are the main changes inside the firmware to improve the, uh, you know, essentially to improve the, uh, the printing. Now let's move on to the Cura settings. So we get to Cura. Turn this off. So you'll see, and this is a little bit small, but I'll talk about the settings. So what I initially did is I did some testing where I changed my print speed. Now originally I had uh, 60 millimeters per second, and I'll talk about why it's now 75. So most of the time this printing uh, zits and blobs happens on the outer wall. And your wall speed is typically half of your uh, regular print speed or your infill speed. So it'll be in this case of 75 would be 37.5. Case of my original settings would be 30. Um, so the wall speed is 37.5. What I did here is I cut the outer wall speed essentially to be half of what the normal wall speed is. And what that does is it lets Octoprint kind of catch up to the printer. So Octoprint's feeding commands in the printer and the printer's printing them, and if there's a lot of small movement commands, it can't feed them fast enough, and the buffer underruns, and then you end up with it kind of stopping, and then there's a little zit that appears. So by slowing this down, it gives Octoprint a chance to keep up with the printer. Now, this likely wouldn't be an issue if you're printing directly from the SD card, or again, if you had a 32-bit printer where it has a long enough buffer where it can buffer enough commands. But uh, in this case, dropping this down to 15 really helps. And to compensate for the print uh, speed impact, what I did is I upped the rest of the print speed to 75 millimeters per second from 60. So I end up with roughly about the same print speed. But my wall quality has turned out phenomenal using these settings. So I highly recommend them. So there you have it. That is how to 
improve your printing with zits and blobs. As you can see here, this stuff should all go away with these with these settings. Uh, you know, you can always leave a comment in the comments and see if I can help you out with it. If you like this video, please like and please subscribe. And please take a look at our other videos. Thank you.